This is the Mi Box S. I just got this from the mail today and it says it has built-in Chromecast, 4K, it has Google Assistant and a free HDMI cable. Look at that. Let's check this out. <laughs> What's up Xiaomi fans, this is Christian and welcome back to All About Me. Another video for you and yep, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to talk about the Mi Box S. Mi Box S. I keep saying TV, Mi TV Box S, but it's only Mi Box S. I'm not saying it, it's just in my mind. Keeps So this little thing has a lot of features as what I've read on the box, uh, a lot of things that it can do. So in a nutshell, this is an Android TV box. You can actually convert your regular TV into a smart TV. So let's find out more about this. Let's unbox this. All right, so before we cut up the box, uh, let's see what, what we should expect uh, with this Mi Box S. So yeah, we have all these apps. Um, has Chromecast built in 4K, Google Assistant, and it's uh, specs quad core CPU and um, what's included we have four things inside I should be seeing four things and uh, also they set up so they just put it put in here like three easy setup so let's open it okay so we have the first thing we're going to see is the uh, the, the TV box it it's pretty small, smaller than I expected. And uh, yeah, underneath we have the user manuals, uh, which is all in English. And yeah, we, we can see that there's the power adapter. It's a two pin power adapter. We have the HDMI cable, so which they provided as stated on the box. And of course the remote control. Okay, so let's see this TV box. It is a simple square design for the TV box, which is unlike the predecessor, which was uh, the Mi Box. And at the back, uh, you have the audio output, which is a 3.5 mm jack, USB, HDMI, and also power input. So we're gonna check this remote. The remote control doesn't come with batteries, but uh, you can, install a AAA battery, two of those, to power up the remote. And this remote is Bluetooth. Okay, so there's more to this than just the remote and the TV box. So let's talk about the specs. Let's start with the dimensions. So the length and width is 3.75 inches and its thickness is 0 0.66 inches and its weight is just 5.19 ounces and the color is only black it only comes with black all right let's talk about the main specs so output resolution is up to 4k cpu is cortex a53 quad core 64 bit with a gpu mali 450 its ram is 2 gig storage is 8 gig Operating system is the Oreo 8.0 and Wi-Fi you can connect up to AC which has 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz and Bluetooth which is 4.1. Alright, so let's set this up. We have to go to the TV, connect this uh, using the HDMI cable. You have to have the power adapter and the remote and you have to have batteries for the remote. It doesn't come with batteries. Okay, hold your remote 8 inches away from the TV box for you to pair it and you have to hold down the home button and the app drawer button just for a few seconds and quickly release it. Then you get a notification on the screen that it's connecting and a beeping sound that it successfully connected and you have a, a screen confirmation as well. So first thing you have to select your language. Just press on the enter key. Okay, so I would suggest that you set up TV with your Android phone. So, which will be easier if you go um, if you go for without connecting using your phone, it will let you do uh, most of the things manually. So, connect it to 
TV using your phone is much more easier because it would somehow transfer some of the information from your phone to the TV, like your app plugins and also your Google account. Okay, Google, set up my device. Just follow the steps provided by, um, you can see from the phone and also on the TV and you'll be good to go. So you'll be guided and it's, it's quite easy, quite straightforward to set this up. The first thing that you need to set up for this TV box once you are on the home screen is the display because by default it will select a low resolution for the TV, okay, which is usually lower than uh, what you your monitor your TV supports. So I'm going to select it, uh, select a 4K resolution for this. So the TV box, as we all know, it's powered by Android and it has 3000 plus apps. So we're going to explore its contents and let's see what we can find. It has a dedicated Netflix button so that you can just access your favorite Netflix movies, documentary series, which is a click of a button. Or you can click the app drawer button so that you can um, jump from one app to another. There's a lot of apps that you can download from the Google Play. You can have some games, uh, you can have some uh, movie apps. So there's like about more than 3000 plus apps that you can download in the Google Play. And if you want to download an app, uh, you can just press on download and you can switch to another app. It will still be downloading in the background. Okay, if you want to get the full experience of the games, I don't recommend that you use the remote control for you to just play the games. It's, it would be better if you have your own game controller. Not unless you'll be playing this uh, kind of simple games that just uses directions. Uh, and also there's a loud clicking sound coming from the remote control so when you when you press on it so I wouldn't recommend just using a remote control for just the games so this little thing is 4k and we're gonna check how it will look like on a, a 4k TV so don't get me wrong if your TV is not 4k don't expect it to be 4k so this will only process 4k videos and up to 60 frames per second the Mi Box S supports 4K Ultra HD resolution and the largest HDR standard with much more realistic colors and more vibrant images. And on top of that, they have premium audio which delivers crisp three-dimensional surround sound. It's been 10 years since we explored the process. In the first series, it's been 10 years and it also has a Chromecast built into the device that you can mirror, you can pair it with your phone and mirror some of the apps to the screen, the TV screen. To start using the Chromecast, uh, you connect your phone as the same Wi-Fi as the Mi Box S and your phone should be paired with the Mi Box S. When you open an app, look for that Chromecast icon. Once you press on it, you can already display that video on a bigger screen and you can start using your phone without interrupting 
what's playing on your TV screen. Okay, this has a dedicated button for Google Assistant. So let's see if how responsive this is. Open Spotify. Play Shallow. Sure, Shallow by Bradley Cooper, Lady Gaga. Here it is on Spotify. Adjust volume to 30%. Stop the music. Sing me a song. Can you dance? What's the weather today? So I've compiled pros and cons after testing and using it. So let's start with the pros. So it is great value okay, with its price. It's just about uh, somewhere about 60, 60 US dollars. The remote control has been enhanced since the Mi Box this has a lot of buttons uh, that is making it more convenient to use. The Google Assistant built-in is very impressive. Um, it's very responsive. The design is small and subtle. And it's, it's pretty simple, a minimalist design. And I'll find it easy to set up, especially that you can use your phone to help you with the setup cons. I didn't really see much cons for this uh, device uh, aside from the two. The clicking sound from the remote is sometimes annoying. It, it's really noisy when you press on it. And second is if you connect a Bluetooth speaker to the Mi Box and you play Netflix, uh, you, you can't play any movie from the Netflix. They will give you that error message. And But it works perfect with the TV, um, with other apps, even though you're using the Bluetooth speaker. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think about this Mi Box S. Bam! We've reached the end of our video. So if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit on the bell icon so you get notified once I upload a new video. And if you do like to buy this Mi TV Box S, I have links on the description below. So you can click, check those out. There are discounts and all that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.